what's up guys it is saints fan welcome back to another fallout 4 video in this one i'm going to be showing you guys how you can get the rare traders to come to your settlement as well as how you can trigger some of the rare encounters in the game so if you guys actually didn't know and i'll leave a link to this video that i did a few days ago i talked about these rare traders that you can get to come to your settlements normally you can only have level three shops but with these rare traders you can bump them up to level four and you can get better items some of them are easy to find because they're in set locations. However, others, they're just triggered from random encounters. And if you're not patient and don't want to wait the amount of time that it would probably take to do this stuff just like on its own, then this video is going to help you out. Now, I will say that when you actually use this method, you will encounter other things besides just the rare traders. Sometimes you will encounter legendary mobs, which is going to be still helpful because you can get legendary items from them. Other times, like I said, you could just encounter just random NPCs that will sometimes give you quests. But nonetheless, the way we actually trigger this stuff is pretty simple. So I'm going to show you guys two locations. Now there are a few more and what I'll do is in the description I will list a few other spots where you can trigger these random encounters. But the two I show in this video, at least when I tried it, seemed like they triggered more of these rare events. So if you're not having luck at the two spots that I show in the video, you can go into the description and maybe check some of the other locations. Anyway, getting into where we're actually going to have to go. So the first place, and this is the place that I find is the best. You're going to want to fast travel to the Cambridge Police Station. This is obviously where the Brotherhood of Steel are at. Once you travel there, all we're going to do is head to the right and go down the alley until we get to the street. Once we're on the street, we're going to take a left and basically follow it down. Right after you get past this billboard that's just laying down in the street, there's a building. And right when you get to that building, that's where the rare encounter will happen. You can see here this first time I came across some guy named Gruel. He was a rare NPC. The second time that I did it, you can see this is what I'm talking about with the legendary mobs. There are a few super mutants here. One of them is a legendary. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything good from it. But finally, this third time, this is where I found the scribe. And if you guys didn't know, this is actually the level four armor seller. So obviously I talked to him and I sent him back to my settlement. Unfortunately, the times that I did this, I didn't find too many other of the rare sellers, but again, if you just keep doing this over and over again, the more chances you will obviously have to find them. Now, the second place I'm going to show you guys is the Starlight Drive-In. Now, most of you probably already have this as a settlement because you have to unlock it fairly early on in the game if you do the Minutemen quests. But what I did was basically just alternate between the Cambridge Police Station and the Starlight Drive-In because when you get to the drive-in, all you have to do is once you fast travel here, turn around and look underneath the train bridge. Now, sometimes there won't be anything here, but most of the time, some sort of encounter spawns here, whether it's a person or whether it's a group of animals, maybe having one of them be a legendary. But this one, you don't need to walk too far. So it's actually kind of convenient to go between this one and the police station one, because this one, if you don't see anything, then you can just come back again later. And literally all you have to do is just fast travel between these two places. Now, if nothing's spawning, if nothing's working for you, then you may want to go ahead and wait or sleep for 24 hours just to sort of reset everything. But you don't need to do that. Like I kept doing the police station one over and over again. I would fast travel to the Starlight Drive-In, check and see if anything was there. And if nothing was there, I would fast travel right back to the police station, go down the road, head past the billboard, and then I would constantly get these legendary or these rare encounters to happen. Real quick, if you were wondering what else you can encounter here, so there are all the rare traders, like I said. In addition, you will encounter a guy that will sell a junkyard dog, which you can actually add to your settlement to increase the defense. There's a lady selling a Brahmin. There's a guy named Duke from the Atom Cats who wears some flashy power armor. There's a cool little quest behind that, as well as some of the other various random encounters that Bethesda have in the game. So hopefully this helps you guys out with finding either those rare encounters or the rare traders. Again, if the two locations in the video didn't work, the list to some of the other locations will be in the description. But uh, thank you guys for watching. That is pretty much it. Go ahead and drop a like on the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe for more awesome follow for content. Let me know in the comment section if you guys do this sort of method, what you encounter, who you encounter. But again, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.